Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to talk about how to add uh, third-party inks into Epson EcoTank. As you can see, Epson's pattern design is to split the ink intake into two sessions. One session get the ink in, another section get the air out. Uh, to make it easier for you to see, I've already taken the printer apart and show you the tank. You can see the ink intake has a split. The ink comes in and go through a series of uh, channels, then get it dumped inside. Now here's the air vent. It has a sponge to stop the ink backflow and ha also have a series of chambers. So even you have the printer upside down, the ink will not flow out immediately. Okay, let's grab some tools. Uh, for the ink, we're going to use uh, ink for printer and uh, we're going to use uh, refill ink for Epson or dye ink. And we're going to use uh, this uh, standard uh, four color ink. Uh, you also need some tubing. I'll grab some from accessories tubing. Uh, those four millimeter ID tubing or larger will work. Uh, here's the ink. Of course, I can just drill through the divider and get in the end, but that's kind of ugly. Instead of drilling, we can just get a piece of tube and connect the intake with a bottle. Uh, this intake has an uh, outside diameter of uh, 6. Uh, we don't have uh, ID5 tubes. We only have an inner diameter of uh, 4 millimeter tubes. So it will be a little bit stretch. If we find uh, ID5 tubes, we're going to list, list it on our website. Uh, first, I'll attach a tube to the ink intake. Uh, then attach the tube to the bottle. Uh, to fit everything in the, in the frame, I make the tube a little shorter, but I suggest you make it a little bit longer than this when you do it. Now you can squeeze and release, squeeze and release, and uh, do it gently, because what you're doing is uh, you're expanding the diaphragms. So when the diaphragm collapses, they push the air into your ink bottle. So you're exchanging the ink and the air. If you push too hard, you're going to break the diaphragm, and then you have an ink leakage problem. Success! Uh, of course, I took the printer apart just to show you what the internal look like and how thing works. Uh, you don't need to take the, your printer apart. You can just directly do this on your printer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally. Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.